My scripture today comes from Paul's letter to the Romans, Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. <coughs> It's before Corinthians, but after Acts. Romans chapter 5, beginning in the first verse. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, though through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we exult in the hope of the glory of God. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance, proven character, and proven character, hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Perseverance, that is the message for today. Paul talks about it a lot in his writings, and some, it was something that he himself was acquainted with. Many uh, synonyms for perseverance can be called endurance, long-suffering, uh, Paul was committed to his mission and he persevered through many obstacles to overcome. Matter of fact, in one of his letters he recounts all his troubles uh, where he'd been, you know, beaten, he'd been uh, stoned, he'd been chased out of town, he'd been shipwrecked, he got bitten by a snake. All kinds of stuff happened to old Paul. But did he give up on God? Did he give up on his mission to evangelize the Jews and the Gentiles? No. He did not give up. Listen to what he says later in, in the book of Romans. He says, For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction." so that through perseverance and the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Now, now may the God who gives perseverance and encouragement grant you to be the same mind with one another according to Jesus Christ. So today we're going to talk a little bit about what uh, perseverance is and what perseverance is not. Okay? First off, perseverance is not necessarily just doing the same thing. You've heard, you've heard the old saying, stay the course. Well, sometimes staying the course is a good idea. But you shouldn't just stay the course just to stay the course because then you end up in a well, we've always done it that way, type of mentality. You see, perseverance means that sometimes when you're going through, sometimes you've got to change direction because some obstacles cannot be easily overcome. That's not to say we should take the path of least resistance, but we should be open to God's direction when it changes. 
Because God may have us do something for a while and then He'll have us change direction and go a different direction. And we need to be attent and we need to be listening so we can persevere through in the right direction. Because you don't want to persevere in the wrong direction or turn aside when it's too late. Just ask those folks on the Titanic about the problems of turning too late. It can be disastrous. It can be disastrous. So I just wanted to put that in there to remind people of what perseverance is not. Let's talk a moment about what perseverance is. Perseverance is the willingness to suffer for one's beliefs and to press on even at great cost. Often it takes above average commitment to persevere through a lot of things. And you know, we all have something that we've had to perse persevere in our lifetime. I mean, I'm not that old, and I've had a few, and, and I know all of you have had something in your life that's been a challenge or a burden that, you know, you've just had to get through. But of course, the first thing to do, to do that, you have to be willing. You have to give yourself over to God and to Jesus Christ and to be willing to walk in His way, whether that leads beside the still waters or whether it leads through the valley of the shadow of death. Because He takes people on both paths. When you talk, when, when I think about commitment recently, I, I was reading some articles from our fellow Baptists in the European Baptist Union, our, our brothers and sisters in Christ there in Europe and some of the things going on. And I was reading an article about uh, churches in Finland about how people are coming to Christ and, and they're doing a lot of great works in, in Finland. And they had this photo in the article and I wanted to sh share it with you. I don't know if you in the back can see. You can come look afterwards. This is a baptism in Finland. Snow ice. Now this person is committed to following Jesus Christ in baptism. I know this because one, the church, looking at the picture, it looks about two foot of snow and about two inches of ice they had to dig up and cut through to get a hole in the river or lake or wherever this is. And then, I'm assuming the minister here and the person getting baptized had to go to, I, I cropped this a little bit, there's a ladder, the, a regular, you know, six, like six foot ladder that they use to get in there. But how cold do you think that water is? <laughs> Pretty cold. This person really wants to get baptized. That, that is perseverance. Perseverance. Like I just said, one of the things about perseverance is it believes in God and it believes in the possible. Because what does perseverance help us with? Hope. Listen, listen to the scriptures again. For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction. So that through perseverance, okay, and what? The encouragement of the scriptures, we might be encouraged. We might have hope. Here earlier in, in, in chapter 5, he says, We exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation 
brings perseverance. And perseverance, proven character. And proven character, hope. And hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. A lot of people say you have to have hope to persevere. But if you can persevere, it will give you hope. That it's not the end. A lot of times it's just the beginning. And maybe it's the beginning of a new road. Maybe it's the beginning of a difficult road. Paul is not... Uh, Is not shy in mentioning in chapter 5. We also exult in our what? Our tribulations. Yeah, nobody wants tribulations. I don't want tribulations. I'm sure you don't want tribulations. But hey, in this world, we will have tribulation. But what does Jesus say? I have overcome the world. The, whatever difficulties you're facing, your perseverance in Jesus Christ can help show you the hope that comes in Him. For God gives perseverance and encouragement. He encourages us to be the same mind with one another, i.e. in loving agreement. Now does that mean we'll agree on everything? No. I don't, I don't know anybody that agrees with me on everything. But we agree on the important things about God and about loving others and serving Him. And then this will make us people of character that people will see and go, wow, what do they have that I don't have? And then they'll want to know more about our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Let us all seek God through the Scriptures, through prayer, and through the work of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is with us, the love of God can flow through us and empower us to do things and to persevere through things we couldn't do in our own flesh. You know, like maybe be like nice to that person at the office that just like rubs you the wrong way all the time. Or, or maybe it's that, that family member who like every time you see them at an event or a holiday, they just go. And you're just like, please. These are minor examples. I could name some heavier ones. But I don't have to. You know. You've lived. Perseverance. Perseverance may not be just keeping on, keeping on. But perseverance is don't give up the ship. Don't abandon the ship. God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So be strong and courageous, he told Joshua. He tells that to us too through the scriptures through prayer and through the work of the Holy Spirit. Let me read it just one more time and then we'll close. Therefore having been justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
through whom also we have obtained instruction by faith into the grace in which we stand and exult in the hope of the glory of God. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance, proven character, and proven character, hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who was given unto us. May the Lord bless the reading of His Word. That's about all I got to say today. A short and sweet message about the truth of God's hope through perseverance. We're going to sing a hymn of invitation and response now entitled, O oh God, Our Help in Ages Past. It's hymn number 286. God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Just like Paul said, the scriptures were given for our encouragement, for our hope. Let us stand and sing hymn number 286, O God, our help in ages past. 